Today on Unauthorized Personnel, we're looking back on some of our early and lost footage as we conclude our first season. In this episode, we're paying homage to some of our early footage that wasn't used for other episodes. We'll be briefly exploring Brown's Hotel in the Catskills of New York, Centralia, Pennsylvania, Concrete City in Nanticoke, Pennsylvania, and St. Michael's Theater in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Centralia needs no introduction. In the 1960s, the town was preparing for a celebration when a trash incineration mishap sparked a mine fire, which continues to burn under the remains of this ghost town until this day. Concrete City in Nanticoke, Pennsylvania consists of 20 poured concrete and rebar duplexes. They were built adjacent a nearby coal mine in which the management and their families could live. It was abandoned after 13 years because of the inability to add indoor plumbing, the structures were damp and drafty, and mold was an ongoing problem. St. Michael's Theater was located in a former Catholic school in Pittsburgh's South Side. It was famous for its annual Easter production of Veronica's Veil. The play ran until 2012. The theater was forced to use space heaters to heat the theater for the final performances on account of an unpaid gas bill balance. The theater has been decaying ever since. Charles and Lillian Brown's hotel was located in Lock Sheldrake, New York. It was one of the top Catskills resorts, which was later converted into apartments called the Grandview Palace. It burned to the ground in 2012, with a few outlying buildings as well as the residents' belongings still remaining. Come along with us as we look back at some of the highlights of our past explorations. That's crazy. This is what I was telling you. This is why this I was saying this crazy. is going to be a treat. Definitely smells like an abandoned building. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Like commercial washing machines and shit. Here you go. Paint chips, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite snack. You know, these were definitely pretty small. That's a pretty, uh, Pretty sick out of bed for a minute. Yeah. That is cool. Holy shit, dude. What? Look at this. Whoa. Look at the furniture. Whoa. Holy shit, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa. This is cool. This is nice. You got like a model floor? Yeah. That, that curio cabinet thing was like. That hutch was like beautiful. Yeah. People smashed it to shit. Oh, look at these man. couches, look at this furniture, man. This furniture is nice. Whoa. Whoa. This looks untouched. Really? Yeah. That's creepy. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Check that shit out, man. 
That's so cool. That's what I was telling. That's why I said this place is gonna be a treat. Yeah. Because I saw some of these, dude. That's some crazy. Of these apartments, and I was like, oh man. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah, this looks pretty untouched. Look at the crown molding around the ceiling too. Yeah. Pike and whitefish. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. I bet that smells fantastic. Yuck. <laughs> it looks just gelatinous and disgusting. Yeah. But you don't see... You don't really see many people, like many dates on these tombstones that are beyond 1960. Yeah. Probably, probably not. Yeah, but like, these are old glass ketchup, glass ketchup bottles. And that's, what is that? That was like an oil bottle. I don't know, some of the stuff I don't recognize. Some of the jams and jelly jars and stuff. Yeah. That's crazy though, because you don't even see the, the glass ketchup bottles like that anymore at all. Yep, here's the graffiti highway now. It's all covered in the mounds of dirt. That's so sad. Yeah. Yeah, there are people walking back there. But, to be respectful, I don't really think we should. <laughs> Good penis. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. That's crazy. It's like growing right up out of the. That's crazy. It's like broken. The roots have broken the concrete, and it's just growing right up out. That's cool. And this is the church that Silent Hill was based on. Uh, yeah, complete with the staircase that leads up to the front of the church, which is clearly posted no trespassing, so. Check that out. This was like on the way to someone's front porch. You can see how much that tree has grown. Yeah. Like since since it's all been cut down and or you know demolished and and then filled in. That's nuts, man. where the, cent the Centralia Centennial Time Capsule was buried. It was, I think, right there. And it got vandalized. And they, somebody tr attempted to dig it up. And so they ended up, like the town ended up, they didn't succeed, the town ended up digging it up a couple years early. I think it was supposed to be opened in 2016, I believe. Yeah, and, and the town's people after the the vault was like vandalized. Um, they uh, they dug it up a couple years early. Oh, this is cool, man! Wow. Check this out. There's a one down the Yeah. This is going to be fun getting back up, by the way. 
Just gonna have to sprint it. Buildings are all kind of in a square formation. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's, I guess, other buildings over there too, but they're all pretty much identical. Like yeah. The construction. In the basement, which I am not going to attempt. <laughs> oh, like concrete stairs to go up. Oh, wow. Watch your head come up here. Oh, dude, there's more steps up here. Holy cow! Did you get that? I'm wondering if... <laughs> you see how sloped everything is? Mm -hmm. It has to be because of the ground settling or something? Because I can't imagine that it would have been... Yeah. This... <laughs> it's just a... That bitch Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a staircase to nowhere. Really? There's no yeah, door there's in no... it. Oh, yeah. There is no entry How there. How weird is that? Super weird. I wonder what that was for. I don't know. Like, what would you even... I mean, some of the graffiti, though, is actually pretty impressive. Yeah. I do have to say. I mean, you, uh, you do definitely have your, your kind of vulgar stuff, but like, yeah, it's just like bedrooms, I suppose. Yeah, but how cool is this, though? Like, it looks like it was inspired by... <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. The world's biggest glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is crazy. A lot of this has been yeah. blown out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering, this, this would almost have to be, I would think, the building that they attempted to use the dynamite charges. Yeah. To blow it up because like the amount of holes and mm -hmm. stuff in the windows that are blown out is obviously Oh yeah, there's like just like a freaking gigantic honking hole that is like blown out of the Wow. Yeah, this this was clearly some fire damage and stuff too. Yeah. I'm guessing that this is definitely the building, if not a building, where they tried to dynamite. Yeah, I mean all the holes and right. stuff. Oh, the, look at that one over there, dude. Holy oh, shit. wow. That one's like some serious disrepair. Careful. 420. <laughs> I guess everybody had the same basic idea. Holy shit. The, like, the entire floor is just gone. Whoa. Yeah, like, <laughs> the second floor is just completely gone. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> Senior urbex. Anything good or meaningful right now? But um, so let's uh, this is absolutely insane. 
there's like a little bit of a delay on it with the stabilization that causes the picture to delay. Oh, no, I'm just saying that. Yeah. It's insane in here. Yeah, it is. What's that? Yeah. anything interesting? No. Oh, that goes right there. Okay, so that's where that goes. That's kind of what they call the choir um, hallway. The choir hallway? It's kind of like the singers would go up the steps. Oh, okay. That's the changing room. Oh, the green room. There's the staircase. I'm saying this be super cautious. Oh, are they just like wood slat stairs or? Yeah, it kind of appears that way. Uh uh. I say this is like the most ever been. Yeah, this is this is bad. Like this is really bad. This looks like it was a classroom. Oh, because it was a school. Totally squishy in here. Yeah, that's why I was saying just be really careful. Yeah. Yeah, if you really want a bad case of vertigo, look down. This is fantastic, this view in here too. Isn't it great? Yeah. The architecture. Steel steps, and I believe it's uh, granite. I believe it's granite. And this goes up to the um, balcony. balcony. Yeah, I don't think we should go up there. I, I really... <laughs> this place is really a hole. I don't really trust most of the walking spaces in this building, to be honest with you. Or are they just taking the floorboards out? Oh, uh, there's like crawl space. Oh. Underneath. Probably getting piping. Yeah. Wiring. Now, be careful, because there are holes. All along the left side. Yeah. I don't know if there's a there's clear those, way to get to that green steps. room. Because mm -hmm. that green room's right around there. Yeah, but that's, so. you can see that it's, it's just, everything's falling. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I honestly, like, we gave it a college try. Although much of the old footage was quite shaky and requiring a lot of finesse to make it somewhat presentable, we are glad that we held on to some of the footage for these locations. Brown's Hotel taught us about the dangers of exploring at night and also taught us that it's easy to miss things when you can't see where you're going. We totally missed finding the Jerry Lewis Theater Club because it was dark, the terrain was uneven, and we couldn't see very well. Centralia and Concrete City were both amazing places to explore, and we really loved the chance to learn about the history of these places. The St. Michael's Theater Explore started out with the best of intentions, but sometimes no matter how badly you want to push on and explore, safety concerns are a legitimate reason to abort. We hope that you enjoyed your time with us throughout this first season of Unauthorized Personnel, and we look forward to seeing you again with season two. Until then, stay safe.